Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm glad to have you here. Today we are going to finally answer the age old question. What is a UX UI designer? But before we start, did you know that the US Declaration of Independence was printed out using a font named Carlson? I actually managed to find the font and I linked it in the description if you're interested. Disclaimer. Please use the font at your own risk. UX native does not take responsibility for any person or thing that decides to print its own declaration of independence and declare any piece of land made beyond planet Earth or any other planet from the observable universe as an independent state or country electing itself as a supreme leader. I think it's about time to roll the intro. If you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome to the club. My name is Dennis and I'm here to discuss everything related about digital products and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in how to become a UX UI designer or how you can start your own business, then you're in the right place. If you're not interested in these subjects, however, and somehow you got lost in the YouTube wormhole of continuously recommended videos that you don't care about, I'm sorry and I feel your pain. I was a victim of that myself. But if you're already here, show some love and smash that like button on your way out. That will mean a lot and it will greatly help the channel. Thanks. Okay, so what is exactly a UX UI designer? Well, according to Wikipedia, and I have to read, user experience UX or apparently UE as well, is about how a user interacts with and experiences a particular product. Two hours later in terms of accomplishing user goals and user-centered design. If this is what people find online when they search UX UI designer, no wonder I get phone calls from my friends and family members asking me if I can decorate their homes or if I can help them pick out their curtains just because they saw that I have designer in my job title. Let's put this in layman's terms so that everyone can understand. A UX designer or a user experience designer, think about him as an architect. His job is to create the structure and think about how the user will interact with a particular digital product. May it be an app, a website, a car dashboard, pretty much anything you can imagine that has a screen on it. But how does he do that? Well, first of all, and the most important thing is he needs to understand the business requirements. What is the main objective of that digital product? To sell an item, to keep people engaged, entertain, to obtain their emails, to make them hit that subscribe button. And the list can go on and on and on. He is the first in line between an idea and a digital product. His job, similar to that of an architect, that listens to its client crazy needs and wishes to have like a hundred windows and underground lifts and tennis courts on top of the roof. Just like the architect needs to take those ideas and create a blueprint of a house that you can actually live in and that can be constructed, a UX designer needs to take those business ideas and create a blueprint or a drawing for a product that will achieve those goals but in the same time is easy to use and it can be developed. And the way he does that is by researching competitors, analyzing data, analyzing user interactions and conducting various user testings so that he can define a structure that the majority of people will understand and know how to use. For example, let's say that our UX designer has a client that wants to create an app similar to I don't know, let's say YouTube, and they need to create a structure for it. What they will do first is to start looking around and see how other apps or websites showcase videos, right? They may look at TikTok, Facebook, Netflix maybe, and see how people interact with their videos. Take notes, ask a few questions, and then come up with like a structure. So going back to the architect analogy, same as an architect knows that if a person wants to enter or exit a building, he or she will be looking for a door, right? Which is common sense. The same way a UX designer knows that users 99% of the time will be looking for their account settings by clicking on their profile pictures. And he knows that because he asked people and he analyzed how users behave. Don't believe me? You can check it right now. Go ahead and click on your YouTube account image and you will see what you'll find. Now after the UX designer finishes gathering all these data, they will analyze it and based on their findings they will define and create a blueprint, which by the way in design terms is called wireframe. 
The wireframe will showcase things like how many pages the product will have, where things will be placed, how the page will be structured, what functionalities will the product have. But that will not be very detailed. Usually most UX designers will just draw structures using like gray boxes and text, nothing fancy. You can even use Windows Paint to do that, but please don't do it. Please don't. That's why after defining the wireframes, they will hand them to the user interface designer or the UI designer. Now the UI designer takes those blueprints or wireframes and turns them into beautiful user interfaces. You can think about him as an interior designer. He's the one who decorates, adds paint, furniture to the house. He's the one who makes your home feel more cozy and warm, instead of being surrounded by plain white concrete walls. He's the one working with the marketing team and developers to make sure that the product design is within the branding guidelines and that everything looks and feels just right before presenting it to the final user. He is the one who knows things like responsive design, which is a fancy way for saying that all designs should work on all digital products like tablets, mobile phones, desktop computers and so on. He is the one who knows how to match colors, how to pair fonts. He will think about animations and transitions for the product. Pretty much everything that you see now on your screen was designed by a UI designer. These roles are not always this clearly defined, as most companies cannot afford to hire specialized designers in only one niche. So what you will find is that most small to medium companies will be looking for designers that can know a bit of both. Designers that can help them out throughout the entire process, instead of being specialized only in UX or UI. We usually call these designers hybrid, hence the wild spread term UX UI designer. So keep this in mind during your journey. If you want to get a job specialized in only one field, your best option is to look for positions or opportunities in very big companies like banks, social media companies, big brands and so on. But on the other hand, if you want to be a bit more hands-on, throughout the entire process, from idea to the final product, then you should look for opportunities in startups or small companies, as usually those have a limited budget and they need someone that can do everything. The same thing goes for a company as well. If you have a small business and you're looking to hire someone to help you out with the designs, I will suggest you to look for a designer that has experience in both fields and that can deliver a product from start to finish. I hope this brings a bit of clarity of what a UX UI designer is and does. And if you know someone that might need help understanding the role of a UX UI designer, please feel free to share this video with them. It might help them out. And please let me know in the comments below what part of the design process do you find most interesting, the UX or the UI? Thanks for watching and as always, on your way out, please make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Take care.